surviving capitalism. Goodwill Outlet. I know I've talked about this place many times, but I've never, I've never actually brought you here because it's so fucking chaotic. There's no aisles. I mean, there's technically aisles, but they're not sealed off. There's a bunch of people digging through. It's essentially dumpster diving. of this place is that you pay by the pound so you don't have to uh you don't have to actually worry about like oh this thing is expensive or whatever it's really by the weight so like and it's like 70 75 cents a pound and the same goodwill rule applies if it's the first saturday of the month which it isn't it's a fucking monday if it's the first saturday of the month it's half off what is this useless but cool looking uh and obviously there's clothes it's a bunch of broken shit i always carry a when i'm in here i always carry a uh screwdriver because you can take stuff apart it doesn't matter this is all this is not where i want to be i don't really look for clothes here but you know if i need to i will johnny johnny yes, papa. eating sugar no papa telling Mouth. Ooh, I'm checking to see if these are in here. Not that I'm gonna get them. Yeah, that's rare. That's rare. Usually people don't even buy the cases. They just take the DVDs. Uh, one of the more common things that happens in these is uh, there's there's hey I've got one of these. Never fucking used the thing though. Hey Pikachu. Oop, lost him. Check it out. It's fucking, it's Pikachu. It's Pikachu. So yeah, this is a good place to come for like, for anything scrap, anything that's like, uh, not like scrap metal, but like, if I need to piece something together for something that I'm, you know, making or cobbling together, I come to this place. Uh, anything that I need to like take apart, anything that, you know, I need parts for, anything like that, electronic wise, it's really good. Uh, and just to spend a, you know, spend an afternoon in and find some stuff that I could, you know, uh, repurpose for something. Look at that. I can make a pipe bomb out of that. And it won't be traced back to me because it's uh, bought here. Never, never buy, never buy uh, galvanized pipe fittings for a pipe bomb at a, at a hardware store because they will be traced back to you. So just come to places like this and get the, uh, obviously I can't use it now because it's on video, but you know, there it is. If you're gonna do that kind of thing. I don't encourage it, but you know, I'm just saying you can do it. Hey, these I'm gonna get, because these are actually useful. I got some pipe that I need to, uh, what is it, secure, I guess? Obviously, look, I mean, look, it's fucking broken glass and shit. There, there's no discrimination at a place like this. So I'm just gonna lead you through and uh, see what we find. This doesn't make any sense. Why is there an ape there? My God. Oh yeah, so that's another thing. Shit. This place also gets a lot of the stuff that doesn't sell at Goodwill. So if it spends a lot of time on the shelf and it doesn't sell, they just fucking toss it in here. And it fills up the, uh, fills up the bins. A lot of this stuff is stuff from Goodwill, but a lot of people donate stuff here. Johnny, Johnny. DBI, VGA, no HDMI though. It's wet for some fucking reason. But what you have to do, you gotta, you gotta find your own power cord in here and uh, plug it up. And there's a testing station. Well, out of the way, kid. There's a testing station down at the end over there, but it's not, it's, it's not really worth testing for me. But this is a good place to find stuff like that. Cause this, honestly, for as much as this weighs, this would be, uh, I don't know, five bucks maybe, 10 bucks tops, but Hey, on a half day, it's good. <laughs> Look at this. This is why you gotta wear gloves. Look at this. It's fucking wet. It's gross. 
smells kind of funny too. They could use some sharpening, but they're not bad. Yeah, I'll take them. They're good for trimming. I need trimming. Fuck it. How do I lock them? I don't know if you can lock them. That's a safety hazard. Well, adapt and overcome. We'll lock them some other way. Oh, oh. There we go. Uh, locked enough, right? Hey, an aero press. Probably filthy as fuck. Oh, the filters are clean and new. Look at that. Hell yeah. I've never had an aero press. Never tried coffee from an aero press. I'm totally down. This can this can be washed. Fuck yeah. This is called the rotation. They uh they take out all the old stuff that's been there for I don't know I think two hours is a cycle maybe an hour, and then uh, they cycle it with new stuff. People gather around it, and it it's seriously I call it Mad Maxing because like you can already see people lining up. They fill up this entire area with uh, clothing and wares and people just surround it. And the second they put the last one in there, they're all over it, man. So I'm just gonna meander over here. Oh, I was getting a bag. Ah, oh, backpack's fine, that'll do. Yeah, why not? So, everything goes in there. My AeroPress, filters, all that. Oh, this thing too. It's kind of awkward doing this with one hand. God damn it. Okay, hold on, I gotta zip this up. I'll, you know, I'll get close for you. I'll get close for you. Hands out until all the carts are in. Yep, yep. So everyone has to wait until the carts are all in, and then it's an all-out grab fest. I don't see anything that I like. One more, hands out. There's some golf balls in there. Go ahead. Okay, now you can grab whatever you want. Not much on this side. People, uh, people go to the good sides, obviously, to grab stuff. Ain't nothing here. Almost got ran over by this guy. Oh, check this out. I found some money, dude. Oh, look at that. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. No one's around. Look at that. Fucking idiots. Oh, fuck yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. People tend to fill up carts. And this is like an unwritten code of this place, but you, you fill up a cart with stuff, and then you put a blanket over it and put it to the corner as long as it's not in the way. And you're essentially, you know, you're, you're hoarding stuff. And what I think these people do is they have like markets and stuff and flea markets. Cause I've seen some people at the flea, there's a flea market like three blocks from here. And I've seen stuff. I've seen people from that flea market shop here. Cause it makes sense, right? Like, you, you buy stuff, you pay it by the pound. It's no sweat off your balls. And then you, uh, you fucking get it. They weigh the cart. So the entire cart is one price super cheap obviously the cart weight is uh taken out of the fucking measurement but it's time to salute you know that fucking swag your company makes you know that swag that they pay for this is where it ends up thanks a lot bloomington hospital foundation thanks a lot for all this fucking waste no one's gonna buy this no one's gonna buy this fucking keychains look brand new Fucking unopened, fucking, come on. No one's gonna fucking buy that. Who gives a shit about that Bloomington Hospital Foundation? Nobody. Fucking nobody. Nobody cares about this shit. So they dump it over here. But this is useful though. One of my friends, a long time ago, had a, had a broken leg and they couldn't afford one of these fucking things. And uh, coming to this place, I fucking found one in like an hour. Cause these are like highly, highly discarded. Like these are like, I mean, I think there was one earlier. Yeah, they're all over the place. Good find, good find. I think they still have it. Damn it, my battery is running out, but I did find the book, book and DVD area. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to spend time here because my battery is literally about to die. And it might die in the middle of this recording, who knows? What if the Earth had two moons? 